Hello everyone, peace of Christ to all. Uh, today we will talk about the news. I was just reading the news from the Gulf area, which is Emirat and Bahrain, etc. And I see the Muslims, they have an article celebrating a very good news. What is the news? You know, we knew that uh, the Muslims are investing a lot of money in Europe, buying uh, sport teams, you know, football teams, etc. And you know, money do a lot of, uh, a lot of, as they say, money talk, right? So uh, look what the head of the Real Madrid uh, party or uh, team uh, he decide. He decide that uh, having a cross in the top of their flag is an insult to Islam. So he decide to take any sign of the cross as you see in the picture from the top of it as long as going to be published in the Middle East and he said that the reason for that is that due to the show respect to the Islamic people um, you know I know I never saw hypocrisy as we see it today in Europe uh, is the Muslims going to take their um, uh, their moon out of their signs due to the respect of the Christians? Sure not. Is the Muslims going to stop killing us, uh, discriminating us, uh, uh, calling us kuffars and infidels and do to respect us? Sure no way. Are they going to take off the verses in the Quran saying that we are dirty, we are filthy, we are kuffar, we are animals, we are the worst creatures? Absolutely not. But Real Madrid leaders, they decide that the cross, this little cross here, is an insult for Muslims. Um, I don't speak Spanish, and I have no connection with the Spanish people, really. But if I am there, I will make a big issue out of this. This idiot who is the, in charge of Real Madrid, I think he is a filthy, disgusting creature. And he should be taken out from his position. I don't care really for for football, but the the point the football teams the, the Muslims these days are buying them to make a political point and religious point. It's not about football no more. It's not about uh, sport. This is about using their power over those stupid European people who everything for them is for sale. Because if Real Madrid is not wanted, is not uh, you know like do do this. Uh, <coughs> The Prince of Emirat, do he knew that Real Madrid, he have a cross in the top of his uh, sign? Yes, he does. So why he invited them to be in uh, Emirat then? Anyway, he invited them. It is those European who bow down. It is those like Obama and those filthy, dummy, stupid idiots who they keep bowing down to anything the Muslims they say. Somebody maybe mentioned to him that this is, you know, what Muslims don't like to see the cross here. What, what about taking the cross from your uh, country too? You know, because Muslims don't like it too. You know, what about we take the cross from the flag of, your, of the UK? I think it's coming maybe. You know, soon the the uh, uh, the crown prince of uh, the UK, uh, which is an idiot, filthy man, he do he, he care nothing for for his money and his business. He is a whore like his wife who was sleeping around with everybody and he was sleeping around with everybody you know and he's praising Islam everywhere he go just because those people they are giving them money give them money you jump in the top of their back so I say to you European and American and Western in general time to change those leaders are not leaders those are a bunch of filthy businessmen they don't care for the dignity of your country they don't care for the value of your country. All what they care for is their pocket. The Queen of England, which many uh, rich people, they love her, uh, she keeps going to the Middle East every few months. Now, uh, ask yourself, what she have to do with the Middle East? You know, the Queen of England, anyway, she is a, a queen who don't rule, which means she has nothing to do with any of those visits. She doesn't have to, to go anywhere. Why she keep like what the Queen of England she had to share with the, the the Sultan of Oman? Nothing except the gifts. 
what you have to share with the, uh, the, the, the rulers of Imarat? Nothing except the gifts. You know, ask yourself, what really, what those people, they have to do there? Why they are there? Why they keep going there like puppies? It's not the Arab no more who come to you. And you see, and just to show you, why she go there? You see why she go there? It's a change of gifts, you know. She will have, she will give him a gift of like two thousand dollar, and he will give her a gift of uh, twenty million dollar. It's a it's a kind of a theft. They go there. This Arab they go like crazy. Wow, the queen in England come into our house. We don't go to her house. She come to our house like a puppy. Let us give her some money. They have a lot of oil. They have a lot of money. And I assure you that the gift this woman she can give have nothing to do with the gift this guy he can give. <laughs> this is why she go there. This is how they make living. They go visit the Arab every few months, get gifts and come back. Because nobody give them gifts. Nobody will give them gifts as those Arab. And uh, the the crown prince is an is a is a very official idiot. I never saw an idiot like this person. Uh, so you know what I'm saying that you people in Europe and people in the West we have to be careful. Those are not leaders no more. All days is over. All what we see is businessmen, businesswomen. They are buying us and selling us to others. Uh, the country have no value. Uh, and uh, sooner or later you will see the Muslims asking for the change of the flag of England. And as long as we have leaders like those, this flag will change. They will take the cross off and it's going to, it's going to happen. As long as the people of England, they are the same they are today. They are not rejecting, they are not fighting back. Like, you know, I heard that uh, this guy Cameron, he said that the ADL are a bunch of idiots and racists. <coughs> now, I do not know much about them, but I know about the ADL are not racist. There's people from all the groups, and those are the real British people. And if you believe in democracy, those people, their voice have to be heard. So, since when in England, if you are a person who have a voice, you are an idiot? And how come Cameron, he doesn't say the same about Muslims? Do, do Cameron dare to say about Muslims the same? About the Muslim, he got offended from pork. Do you dare to say this is really an idiot thought? Do you dare to say that uh, you know Muslims are thinking about the honor killing and uh, a, a woman she is having showing her face? Uh, the, the Muslims are throwing acid at the face of Muslims, uh, Muslims in, in, in the UK. Go and see how many honor killing happen. Do Cameron dare to say that the one who do such a crime is an idiot? He will never dare to speak about Islam wrong. But he is so willingly ready to speak about the ADL. They are very bad people. Yeah, because those people, they are trying to protect their country. That's all for today. I wanted to share this with you guys. And I think, uh, you know, uh, the corruption is going everywhere. And we, the people who, uh, you know, we care, we should do something. And look, you know, like Islamic websites, they are so happy for this news. Very, very happy. This is really good news for them. It's a, it's a golden age for the money of oil. They come by your leaders, and your leader became a puppy for them. And I noticed that there's no right, no left, no more. The left and the right is in the pocket of the Arab. The left and the right are for sale. Like, you know, in USA, uh, I remember at the time of George Bush, the, the stupid George Bush, which supposedly he is a lot better than Obama, but for me he's still a very stupid person. Uh, he said, or see the, sorry, not said, he tried to force the Congress at, during his time to give the port of New York to the United Arab Emirates. Imagine. The United Arab Emirates were almost going to control all the ports of New York. And New York port is one of the biggest in USA. Hundreds of millions of dollars a day of a product and uh, 
and goods go through. And imagine if they control the border, it's not about just business, it's about controlling border. What they can smuggle to USA if they are controlling the border. And the stupid George Bush who was saying supposedly he want to fight terrorism and he go in war against terrorists, same time he want to give our borders to the Muslims. Have you ever seen a stupid people like those? This is why we say Western, wake up. Wake up and see what's going on. Don't vote based that you are Republican or you are a Democrat in USA and the same in whatever you are in, in, the, in the West. Don't support a party, support a person. See what he is about. See how he stands against the filth of Islam, how he stands against the filth of uh, corruption, the filth of the oil money, and then you make a vote. You don't want a leader who is going to be ready to sell you and sell your country with him. People who they are for sale, the first thing they do, they will sell you out. I wanted to share this with you guys and I hope you want to spread the video and don't forget to tell your friends about my book if you like to have it it's called The Deception of Allah and you can have it from Amazon.com if you like to have a copy Christ is Lord Islam is false I mean to that